Okay, today we will be talking about ortho hand. So there are several problems in the hand orthopedics. So the first one is the carpal is the carpal tunnel, and we have trigger finger. Let's let's do decovariant synovitis. The Quervian synovitis, Tina synovitis, and then we have Jersey finger, and we have Mallet finger, and we have Trigger finger, we have the uterine contracture and we have fill on okay now let's create pictures for each one of them okay woo so this is the magic we had pictures carpal tunnel syndrome basically pigment of the median nerve we have dequivariant synovitis this is a picture for it the uterine contracture it's like that trigger finger fill on mallet finger and jersey finger okay let's talk about each one of them so let's go to carpal tunnel syndrome what's the pathophysiology behind it basically you want to know median nerve compression as you can see in the picture so the patient symptoms what what are the symptoms for him decrease sensation okay what else Thinner atrophy. What else? You could see ex exacerbated by hyperflexion tapping on the carpal tunnel. Okay? So when you tap on the carpal tunnel, it worsen. Worsen with tapping on carpal tunnel. Okay? Now, how do you diagnose that? easy we do nerve conduction study how do you treat that okay easy we do the sides we do splinting and we do steroids and we do surgery and that's it But the first thing you treat, treat first conduction velocity, then do surgery. Okay, so first treat, and then you do conduction velocity, and then you do the surgery. So initially you start with treatment, and then you do the conduction, and then you do surgery. Nice, boom, boom, boom. So that's the carpal tunnel syndrome. Dequivariant synovitis. What, what is what it what it is? Basically, it's tendonitis of thumb. Tendonitis of thumb, which means inflammation in the th tendon that go the th in the thumb tendon. Okay. So, what are the symptoms they're gonna present with? Thumb pain, weight lifter. Ma. This so this is these are the people who lift weight can have that mom holding baby these are the people who could get affected okay so how do you diagnose it you you do first thumb twist you diagnose it first thumb twist okay how do you treat it you treat it by the sides splinting plus the sides can add both of them or and you can do steroids that's basically decovariance tinnitus synovitis okay now let's go to jersey finger jersey finger what is it what is a jersey finger jersey finger is actually tearing of the flexor tendon it's tearing of the flexor tendon 
okay so what does that cause like what is the symptoms so when the patient open his hand he makes a fist and the finger is unable to flex okay so it can be weird if it's the middle finger then you're gonna have a very weird sign so unable to flex the middle finger <laughs> no that's weird unable to flex the finger okay so from its name tearing of the flexor tendon so that's why you can flex it maybe jersey people do curse sign all the time maybe that's why they call it jersey send finger i don't know i have no idea but that's what it is you can't flex how do you diagnose it clinical how do you treat it splinting actually not surgery you splint it boom it's treated no mallet finger what is it actually mallet finger it's the opposite of jersey finger which is tearing of the extensor finger so what does that mean you mean when the patient makes a fist and then open his hand the finger is unable to extend unable to extend okay so this can be weird too you can't extend a finger with mallet finger and for jersey finger you can't flex jersey flex jersey flex why because s in jersey and flex extend mallet because mallet has t and extend has t flex doesn't have t so t with the t extend extend so this is just an easy way to remember the jersey finger how do you diagnose it clinical clc clx clinical how do you treat it splinting interesting right now let's go to what is the next one you have the uterine contracture let's do the uterine contracture why does that happen okay so it's basically associated with connective tissue disease okay so it's connective connective tissue disease that cause that so the patient how does it present usually alcoholic scandinavian male with contracted hand and palpable nodules contracted hand palpable nodules scan alcoholic scandinavian scandinavian okay so how do you diagnose that clinical how do you treat it surgical release okay so that's a deputy contracture okay what else left for us let's see did you do the trigger oh, okay trigger finger let's do the trigger finger what is the trigger finger mean the problem problem in the not in the tendon it's in the fascia fascia of middle finger of the middle finger okay that's a problem what is what is again that gonna cause unable to flex the middle finger and a pop with forced flexion okay can't flex the middle finger okay can't flex the middle finger this could cause you this could get you in trouble actually so especially <laughs> it's the middle finger how do you manage that how do you diagnostic clinical how do you manage it steroid boom that's it should steroid should relieve the fascia because it's a fascia that's what it's but if it's a tendon then we do splinting Filon, let's see what's filon. Filon's actually abscess of the nail pulp. Abscess of the nail pulp. Okay. So how does the patient present? Present ex exquisitely tender abscess status 
and after penetrating injury they can have fever leukocytosis okay so it's an infection so they have signs of infection fever increased white blood cells leukocytosis abscess okay these are th things tender swollen okay these these are the things that you could see what else you can see okay it's an abscess so it's abscess you can see an abscess what else after injury post penetrating injury okay so how do you treat that how do you diagnose that clinical how do you treat it incision and the drainage plus antibiotics boom 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 so this is the hand orthopedics let's go a quick review for it carpal tunnel syndrome it's the median nerve problem and present with thinner atrophy nerve con we do an aside and then do nerve conduction study if that didn't work the first treatment then we do splinting after that steroid after that surgery Liquivarian, it's of the thumb tendonitis of the thumb thumb pain first uh, you treat it with side and steroid Deputarian contracture, Scandinavian, alcoholic Scandinavian, surgical release, that's what you do. Trigger finger is the fascia of the middle finger, you treat it with a steroid, it's because it's fascia. Now the tendon problem, if you're unable to flex, this is jersey finger, it's splint. If unable to extend T with its mallet finger, it's a splint. If it's a fillin, this is an abscess, so you treat incision, drainage, antibiotics, like how you treat any, any abscess. Bon, that's the summary of hand orthopedic. Thank you so much for listening.